My hope is built on nothing less but Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not, I dare not, I dare not trust the seed of prayer. But I only live on Jesus' name, on Christ the solid rock I stand, all of the ground is sinking sand, all of the ground is sinking sand, friends. There's still a God who brings water out of the rock. There's still a God who sends ravens in the time of famine to take care of his own. God never leaves his own. And don't you be deceived. Not all Ghanaians are simply Ghanaians. Not all people are simply people. There are others who are peculiar people. You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a peculiar people. God has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Once you had not obtained mercy, but now you've obtained the mercy of God. Once you were not a people, but now you have become the ecclesia. the people of God. Listen, what happens or what's happening in Egypt doesn't have to affect Goshen. There's a corner in Ghana that's not affected by the economy. And that corner is where you are. You are a child of God. You are washed by the blood of the Lamb. Paul said, let no trouble me. Let no disease trouble me. Let no Ebola trouble me. Let no witchcraft trouble me because I bear on my body the mark of Christ. You all in hearing me now. You are a child of God. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a living God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. And he's the same forever. Wave your hand and shout a big amen. He said, bring the tithes and the offerings into my house. And I will pour out a blessing. He didn't say, give it shall be given unto you. If the economy in your country is better. Riches in glory. He said, I will show you the hidden riches. There's plenty of money at this hard time. Somewhere out there. But he said, I'll show you where it is. All you got to do is please the king. And he'll lift you up. Revelation 4.11 says, For his pleasure were we created. Please him! That's the message God sent me to give you. Please him and he will give you a financial kingdom. Please him and he'll provide all your needs. Praise him and he'll help you pay your rent. Please him and he will give you the scholarship. Please him and he'll make available the visa. Please him and he'll give you a job that will blow your mind. Just make him happy. He'll bring you a husband. He'll bring you a wife. He'll bring you a child. Please him. And he'll heal you. Please him. And he'll lift you. Please him. And he would give you your kingdom. If you believe it, shout a big amen. amen. What is a million dollar dance? The dance that pleases the king. The dance that pleases. Don't just dance. Dance. Until you please the king. Don't just give. Give until you please the king. Don't just forgive. Forgive until you please the king. Don't just pray. Pray until you please the king. Don't just serve in the church. Serve until you please the king. You know what's the problem? 
with the church. One of you ladies, come here. Come help me. Just one of you. Good. All right. She's my dancing partner. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, come on. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Do you notice she's taking about the same kind of steps I'm taking? She put her hand over here. Because she wants to be in unison. She wants to synchronize with me. There is a problem in the church. And there was a problem on that day. Many people are more interested in pleasing their dancing partner. But one girl forget about who, forget about who was around her. She found out how the king likes dancing. And she danced until she pleased the king. It's like writing an examination and you're trying to impress the person sitting next to you. So you make your writing like that because the guy is looking. Those who pass exams, they're smarter than that. They try to get into the head of the examiner because it's the examiner that matters. When you give answers, you want to give answers that he is expecting you to give answers for. That's what makes the difference. Turn to your neighbor and say, I love you. But it's the king that matters. Tell somebody, I'm glad you're sitting by my side. But I didn't come here for you. There's someone watching on the high table. He is the king of kings. You may not like me, but you can't promote me. You may not like me, but you can't lift me up. An office manager, an office uh, clerk who don't like me make no difference if the managing director likes me. So unto the Lord shall the gathering of his people be. I came to church to please him. I came to church to look up to the hills from where comes my help. I didn't come to church for you. I didn't dress with this clothes to impress you. I respect you, but I don't need your approval. God don't need your permission to bless me. If I please him, he will bless and he will lift me up. Lift up your hands and shout a big hallelujah.